Okay, everybody. I'm just loading up uh, uh, the computer for uh, for a little adventure in DOS. Just gonna zoom in a little. So you can get the whole screen in there. Make it nice. Oh, that should be pretty good. Okay. Um, um, yes, we're gonna explore the Lynx L-I-N-K-S browser for DOS, and it's a graphical browser. And uh, there's very few graphical browsers for DOS, I can tell you. Um, just a little bit about this computer. It's a 1997 PC, 200 megahertz with 256 meg megabytes of RAM installed. And I've created a 32 megabyte RAM drive out of it. And uh, that's where I'm going to load the Lynx browser into. Um, so, first of all, i got to get to that. And then what I've done is that I've created a batch file that loads the packet driver in and loads all the necessary files into the RAM drive. And the RAM drive is temporary, but it's quick because, you know, RAM is just, um, well, it's the writing to RAM is a lot quicker, obviously. Now, here it is. This is the Lynx browser. Um, I've created a uh, a start page of my own that's just plain text um, that I use for uh, all my DOS browsers that uh, <coughs> because well a RAM drive is temporary when you turn off the computer all the information on the RAM drive disappears until you start it up the next time and it starts off fresh so I keep this file uh, as one of the files that loads in so I have my favorites all on the front page so I can look at it so let's go to the Lynx website they've got their home page and uh, this is it and uh, it loaded rather quickly there but that's good um, and this is it Twibright Labs Lynx web browser and uh, it's cross-platform and it uh, um, Windows, uh, BIOS, uh, OS2, which I demonstrated in another video of this browser, and it works really well in that. Um, Debian uh, and Red Hat, uh, the Linux, uh, the Linux um, distros will run it. And you got, um, I think, a couple of others that I haven't heard of. Unix, I know, but uh, a couple of other. Um, Sure, but it's very cross-platform, and uh, and it just recently was ported into DOS. Now they warn that DOS, um, it was uh, there's some stability problems, and in my tests I have come across this, but it doesn't crash as often as as uh, Arachne does. Um, Arachne gets stuck sometimes and just doesn't and doesn't move, um, whereas uh, this browser. Uh, tends to just go and another cool thing they've got they've got a calibration page so that if your your card isn't rendering it well you've know, got this test pattern and you can and you can use your the, the video options and just tweak your uh, tweak your settings and use this test pattern to make uh, everything really crisp and so I think that's a nice little feature so they, they put a lot of thought into this web browser so I'm quite impressed by that. So yeah, Twibright Labs Lynx web browser, terrific job. Um, just going back, uh, um, just to take a look at a, a web page like Wikipedia, say. Let's just take a look at um, Wikipedia and see how quickly it loads. And but I bet you won't be as quick as that page because there's a lot of traffic. Of course, everybody goes to Wikipedia. Oh, no, it's loaded quite quick actually, hasn't it? So, uh, yeah, it's loaded quite quick. And there's today's featured picture. So you got a graphical browser in DOS that runs uh, far better than Arachne. To be fair to Arachne, though, it, it, it's, it's very um, poorly supported. And uh, I don't think there's been an update of any significance since, um, geez, since since uh, about 2000. I think the last tweak they did was in 08, but it was minor. But uh, this browser, really, really good. Um, 
you can also um, if you want to you can go into text mode of of the browser you don't have to have the graphics if you don't want to you can have it like a just a plain text browser like DOS links or 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 links which is very good and I'll show you that and it, and I will say that uh, the just the plain text is is far more stable in fact very stable um, in comparison to the graphical in DOS but uh, I'll just I'll just go to uh, I'll just get it started up here and you can take a look at it the the plain text version whoops and there we go and then start dot htm and voila and it opens up and there's the page that I had on before but it's just it's just text so um, I can go to uh, and here's here's their home page again looks a lot different doesn't it um, yeah so if I go to Wikipedia you can take a look and, and what's cool about it is that um, the way it arranges the page it arranges this page correctly and 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 it's all um, laid out very well um, unlike um, the other graphical browsers um, it doesn't have um, the separate cells for for, uh, for columns spaces which I think is a nice touch not in every case but but in a lot of cases it looks really good so it's very similar oh also what I will show you too is that you can go if I if I want a, a different font to read I and this isn't part of links um, this is from my own thing so I can just go to back to the C drive and just um, and I'll go to the C drive and I'll just change my font just a little bit. This is one of my favorite fonts. I'll go back to the D drive now and exit out of the shell. And here we have a different font and and uh, and a much more readable font. Well, I like it because it looks uh, it looks really cool. And so there you have it um, with um, different colors and things. And of course, these are the options you can have. Um, there's so much to explore. Uh, it's it's full of features, and I can change the color to however I want the text and the links in the background far easier than I can in 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 the links browser and and um, it really works well um, I'll just go to the drudge report again and uh, you can see how it is laid out too so you can see the separation of the columns here uh, really nice uh, for a graphical uh, for a, um, a text-based browser that's what I love to see is like everything's laid out really nice and you know you've got all these news websites and the columnists uh, listed in the middle there and, and all and all the news down the site because I uh, you know every single web uh, website that's about news you can you can find on this on this on this website so anyways um, yeah the Lynx browser very impressed with it um, apart from the issues of crashing in the in the graphical uh, shell um, it doesn't crash very often but it it has happened to me but then again it happens in arachne as well so I don't think anything's perfect but uh, if they iron these things out boy I tell you this browser um, I am really really impressed with it for its uh, for its for its use in DOS and it makes it makes DOS look really modern, and uh, and that, and that's kind of a plus, and especially something that's come out for DOS in recent times. Anyway, thank you for watching.